Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, is about three drag queens who trek through the Australian outback to go to a gig. This is one of the oddest journeys ever taken by, you know, three of the oddest people in the world it's as they cross the desert in this pass and the adventures that they get into. And the, the, the story is, is just so much fun. I think everybody comes to this show with slightly lowered expectations that they're going to go, oh yeah, it's another jukebox musical based on a movie, you know, the Broadway's dying, you know. I think you're going to have the time of your life. It's a family from day one. Everybody felt like we were all here together to make a great show. And um, I couldn't ask for two better co-stars. I mean, they're really just fantastic and so easy to work with. and. Um, encouraging. The costumes are absolutely insane and uh, just putting on the feathers and the boas and the platforms and the wigs and the heels you just feel like a completely different fantastic person. It's so funny because usually all the girls in the room are like you know watching their weight and I've got to fit into my corset and this time it's the guys and we're all <laughs> just trying to be pretty and, and tip around in our heels so it's different and, and we're definitely you know uh, getting a newfound respect for the ladies and how they manage to walk around in heels all the time. The dancing skills are just amazing I'm just uh, jaw drops when I watch some of these guys I mean they can they can do things that, you know, and do lifts and turns and spins and, and all on, you know, six inch spikes. It's just incredible. We're doing the final runs before we take off to Toronto. So we're just solidifying the show now. We're just making sure it's definitely in our heads before the other elements, the costumes and the scenery, the makeup, the props are all uh, added to the mix. Well, it's nice always to get out of town for a little while and, and try things out and find, you know, find the, the heart of the piece and, and uh, not have the pressure of the, the New York audience and the critics and that kind of thing on you. So it's exciting to, to go out of town and just, you know, get it down. Um, and Toronto's a fantastic city. Um, so we're just excited to fi finally get an audience. It's glamorous, it's glittery, it's, it's, it's like a Ziegfeld Follies show. A spectacle, gorgeous, fierce. <laughs> It's really, it's an amazing, amazing show. It's larger than life. This will sound cheesy, but you probably will be surprised by how much heart the show has for a show that's, you know, kind of billed as being this flashy, fabulous show. It's got a lot of just heart. It really feels like a team. It's a it's a family from day one. Everybody felt like we were all here together to make a great show, and um, I couldn't ask for two better co-stars. I mean, they're really just fantastic and so easy to work with and um, encouraging. You know?
playing an Australian role in an Australian written musical. I never thought I would see the day that such a thing would happen. So uh, yes, this is the dream of a lifetime for me. Maybe I should be doing, uh, oh, my musical theatre friends are going to kill me for not knowing the, the... I enjoy being a girl. What's that from? Flower drum song. Good grief. Take away my musical theatre card. Uh, I'm amazed that, that you know you could take uh, a chorus of boys who are built so strong uh, I mean they're built like football players and they can be so incredibly elegant and 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 specific and and uh, genteel and balletic at the same time it's wonderful